by WeatherAte for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. So a few minutes ago, you heard me almost like waving the white flag on having the coffee on the back patio yeah. tomorrow because the temperature, Jamie's not ruling it out. He'd make me look bad. <laughs> Jamie, clearly you're tougher than I am at that hour of the morning. You're not, you're not ruling out having that coffee in the back patio. What's the temperature going to be? Well, temperatures at 9 o'clock are probably going to be in the mid-30s. And, and, you know, I really shouldn't complain about it. I mean, it's late February. Mid-30s at 9 o'clock in the morning is not bad. It's just we've had a lot milder here the last few days. Uh, outside right now, just hard to believe that we had that round of rain this morning with as beautiful as it is now and as it has been since about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Skies are, are mostly sunny at this hour. Temperature still in the 60s at 63. A brisk southwest wind at 22 miles per hour. Here's a look at the rain from today. Uh, rainfall totals generally on the road of around a quarter to three quarters of an inch. We uh, came in just shy of half an inch officially out of the airport. So a pretty good soaking, but it was a quick hitter. And I mean, it moved in and then it moved out. And that rain continues to march off to the east, east of the Mississippi River. Uh, something else that happened today is that we did see some severe weather with this storm system. It's just that it didn't get cranking until it was about ready to move out of our area. So kind of snuck on through our area. And then once it got east of Highway 63, we started seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings along that line with some stronger wind gusts. In fact, in places like uh, Pomona and West Plains had some gusts over 50 miles per hour. And then we started seeing some tornado warnings as that line was approaching the St. Louis area. Uh, nothing confirmed as of yet, but uh, there has been some reports of strong winds and wind damage into western Illinois and also across southeast Missouri into southern sections of Illinois. That line of showers and thunderstorms now stretching from Indiana down into Mississippi. This really isn't the actual cold front. The actual cold front is still located to our west. Uh, stretches from uh, maybe Moberly back into uh, northeast areas of Oklahoma, back into the Oklahoma City area. And cold air is lurking behind that cold front. And it's set to move back in, kind of getting us back to something more typical for the end of February. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. The cold front marches southeast across the area by 7 o'clock in the morning. In fact, uh, looks like Alton and Ash Flat. It'll be clearing those locations and then it will be completely through our area shortly after 7 o'clock. Much of the morning hours looks mainly sunny. And then once we get past lunchtime, there's probably going to be a wave of cloud cover that spreads in across areas like Harrison and Flippin, east over toward West Plains and Alton. I think here along and north of the interstate, we tend to stay mainly sunny. Now, the temperatures that I'm showing you for lows, in some locations, especially south of the interstate, uh, these lows don't occur until after sunrise on Thursday as the colder air is pouring in and pushing those temperatures down. Looks like a morning low of about 34 or so here in Springfield. At least we'll have the sunshine. Winds will remain gusty throughout the day out of the northwest, and it looks like afternoon highs ranging from probably about 40 in Stockton, about 44 here in Springfield uh, with middle 50s in the Mountain Home and West Plains area. And then tomorrow night it gets cold. Under mostly clear skies, we dip down about 23. Uh, looks like Friday is going to be one of those days where there's a lot of high cloudiness. I mean, there'll be a little bit of sunshine shining through, but there's going to be a lot of high cloudiness. Winds are going to be breezy, and it's going to be a struggle to get up to 50. Uh, looks like about 49 in Springfield. Looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday, mainly cloudy, but mostly dry. So if you've got some outdoor activities you've got planned, it won't be the best day, but I, I think generally it will be a dry day. A better chance for showers late Saturday night into Sunday morning, and I think we'll find additional showers, especially heading into the uh, late afternoon, early evening time frame uh, on Sunday. And then overnight Sunday night, we're going to have another pretty potent storm system moving across the region. Should get a round of rain and thunderstorms with that, and then gusty winds on Monday. But not much of a cool down. It looks like a high of about 60 on Tuesday and then back in the mid 60s as we begin the month of March, Wednesday of next week. Guys? All right, thanks, Jamie. A major winter storm.